it's autumn and with less and less sunlight every day, the photo period is shortening and that means the photosynthetic efficiency drops and so do the leaves from our broadleaf trees like maples and oaks, but not the pine trees, right? Not the cone bearing trees. They don't lose their needles this winter. Well, I'm Naturalist Marty and I'm about to find you a species, Taxodium disticum, the bald cypress that breaks the rules. It's a deciduous conifer. Here we go. These needles are definitely reacting to fall. I'm seeing less and less of that green pigmented chlorophyll. But are we truly looking at a bald cypress? Here's how you can check. I'm gonna look at the growth pattern. I'm looking for an alternate growth pattern. And uh-oh, the branching pattern here is opposite. So we have found the lookalike Dawn Redwood, Metasequoia glyptostrobides. So the search continues. This conifer is reacting to fall. Let's check for that alternate growth pattern. And we've got one, a bald cypress, Taxodium disticum. And if you compare those needles to that of a dawn redwood on top, the dawn redwood needles are an inch long, a little more feathery. The bald cypress needles are shorter than an inch. Both trees can be planted near each other in ornamental settings. That's what can be confusing. Take a look at the top of this tree. You can barely find it or make sense of it. But when you look over here at the top of the Dawn Redwood, Dawn Redwoods are cone shaped. And you'll pick up on that shape even in the absence of those needles. The bald cypress is a native tree to the eastern United States, even Texas and Florida. And it can really tolerate wet soils. It can even have its roots growing in standing water. This tree is going to grow to about 80 feet, the bald cypress. The dawn redwood is going to double that in height, at least. 